hear YouTube show sound done? Is it worth it? Is it worth it to upload your song, songs on sound done? Upload your songs on Spotify, Apple Music, Deezer, Tidal, Rezo, TikTok. Is it worth it giving away your ID number, your info? You know, many people I saw, not many people, like someone complained on Twitter. He complained on Twitter that he doesn't want to give the intent the ID to sound done because it's Chinese but you know even if you use DistroKid even if you use whatever music ser music aggregator music service you have to do your taxes you have to file for your taxes so they already have your information even if you don't give them your ID they have your tax information, every service that you distribute music. So registering with your ID is nothing less than giving away your info taxes, your W-9 taxes for be able to have the producing or, or artist as a job, you know. Any rapper that you see in the game does his taxes the way you do you do your taxes you distribute your music you get paid and you do your taxes what is sound done sound done is an l and one platform for marketing and distribution helping you helping you build a career and finding new fans through tiktok Exclusive partners, Rezo, CapCat. I know CapCat has this app, you do things. And another digital pl streaming platforms through our global distribution service. Who can join? Artists. Our platform is for artists looking to connect with new audiences and release music their way. If you own the rights to your music and you're looking for distribution and marketing services, Soundon may be the perfect platform for you. Labels Soundon provides accounts for labels in Brazil and Indonesia to upload music for all of the, their artists. Labels keep a competitive percentage of the earnings. Earnings can be viewed by track with the applicable artists or altogether. Please contact us for more details on our label services. To sign up as a label, choose label to continue after the registration is completed. I want to join Sound Down, but I'm under the required rates. For Brazilian, Brazilian artists, please email. For Indonesian artists, please submit your parents' ID and profile for relations where required to upload ID for verification on the platforms. For US and UK artists, unfortunately, we do not allow under eight artists to sign up at the moment. That's weird. Why you allow kids from other countries, but now USA and UK? I don't, I don't understand. So basically, I can leave this link in the description, okay? And you can read all the questions right here. All the questions is f the if you have all the time of the world, you can sit down and go through all of these and I haven't distributed a song with uh sound done because I think they don't have YouTube content ID so. I don't know if it's good. I don't want to do an experiment and distribute, you know. I want to keep it light, you know. I want to, like, do, like, how to upload, like I did in my other video, how to upload to sound down. Like, not experiment, because I, I learned from all my, all my experience and distribution, 
If you start uploading with that company, with that company, with the other company, you lose money. You lose money because maybe one company, one music aggregator, maybe one company, one music ag aggregator is not good with your music on the platform. Maybe it doesn't pay good, like BeatStars. BeatStars publishing is good, it pays good, but BeatStar distribution doesn't pay so good. And I don't know if I'm making any streams because it doesn't have analytics. Someone asked me, how is it? How is your experience with BeatStar distribution? It's not very good. I upload some music and it's not going good. But the BeatStars Publishing, you can have BeatStars Publishing and have DistroKid. You don't have to have BeatStars Distribution to have BeatStars Publishing. You can have a, another company like, I said DistroKid because it's the most famous one. You can have like repost by SoundCloud and still have BeatStars Publishing. BeatStars Publishing I don't know how much it costs, $50 a year. $50 a year. So this coming this past month I made I made $50. So I made the year's income. I made more money. I made like 130 on B search publishing with only one bit of mine. Imagine if more beats catch up. So, someone asked me to do a video on um, Revelator, family for music, family and music. How to upload your songs on uh, family and music, and it's free. You know, you, anyone can join. You can make an account right now and distribute music and family for music. It's easy, like, it's pretty straightforward. You go on the new dashboard, you can go on the old dashboard, but you can, you can do it here. I prefer the new dashboard. Sometimes I get stuck on the new dashboard and they say you have to use the old dashboard. So today we're going to use the new dashboard. You click either create release or create track. I don't know which one is, is which one is uh, different. You enter the name, you enter the version. If you don't want to enter the version, you don't have to enter the version. You enter the, you know, the genre. This localizes if it's in another language. So if your language was like, you know, or ever of these languages, you put the original language there. You can have both languages. I don't understand the localize your track. I don't, I don't get it. You put your artist. This is my Spotify ID, my Apple ID. This is public information. I don't have to hide it. And um, I have put my my D, and it's it's there. It's my it's it's on the info. I I don't have a label. Here you you put the start time to start on TikTok. What time you wanna you wanna have it? You can create a label, it says here. You can create a label. So maybe you can have multiple multiple artists. I don't know. Do you have an RCC? No. Original song, year 2022, name. You put your artist name. Or you can put like, you can put your artist name like this. LLC under exclusive distribution to family and music you know you can put uh, under exclusive license 
I don't know how how hard is do it on you know on on Spotify. Like some artists do that, you know, they put like yeah, see here. Talk well under exclusive distribution to Minos Emmy Universal Music Company. So you can put like Carlito LLC under exclusive so this will this what I'm writing right now it's gonna pop up like on Spotify like this guy right here like he has don't put universal music for a joke I don't think they're gonna accept it so you put your language what well, language is the track you know if it's an instrumental Does it try future explicit lyrics? Yes, you can add your lyrics. Then you add your your role. What's your role? You can. I don't see producer. I see composer, but no producer. You put the percentage and it has to be 100% self-published. So if you have like more people, you know, you need like to say how much. Like can this person has 100% if you get it 100%? No, the total, the total amount has to be 100%. Okay. And you click create, simple as that. You click create, then you go back. Where, where's my? You go to assets, music. Fuck. Okay, here, test. Okay, let's do it again. You go to music, assets, tracks here. Here is test. And you click on, wait, how did I do it? Oh, fuck. I think something's wrong with my. I think I. I think I missed something. I haven't slept. I haven't slept, so you know. Okay, you click test. Okay, you know if you if you mess up like me, you go to releases here. You create create new. Then you go select tracks. Select track. You click test. This is my track. It says pending. The SRC code. So now you, I forgot the, you know, keep calm. I forgot the cover. So basically, you ha you have to fill out the information again, like I did. Click create. Well, something is, I forgot the, to put the artist. Okay. So you probably need to do it for like in the start, just click on create release. Don't click on create track because it's gonna, gonna make you it's going to make you, you know, create again. So you go to distribution here and you click distribute all. 
distribute to all so it's like it's like you have a label you know I'm gonna delete it so you go here create release go here don't go create track create release it's easier and then when you do that you know you can see my song still there I go assets music tracks test delete so it gets deleted I think you basically need to fill out information both times on the track and on the release you know it's free so you, you get what you pay for you know you need to like to pay pay attention on the distribution because one mistake even if you do a mistake you can still say take down song you know like if you upload the wrong file you can still click on take take down even if you distribute you just click take down you don't need to email them so this was the video explaining if sound down is worth it and explaining how to upload a song with family distribution. Peace.